Hello children. Good morning to you all. Now it is time for us to uh, start our class. Hope yesterday's concept you have understood about the question tags. Yesterday I taught you how to form the question tags using the uh, auxiliaries. Is, was, are, where, can, will, etc. Have, has. Understand? And today, and I told one more thing about it that if the sentence is in positive form, we have to use negative question tag. And if the sentence is in negative form, we have to use positive question tag. What we need to pick up from the sentence is, First, as it is, we are going to write the sentence. In place of full stop, we have to put comma. And we select the auxiliary from the uh, sentence. And we add the related pronoun to it. If auxiliary is can in the sentence, we have to use cannot in question tag. If can't is there in the sentence, we use can. She can't speak English. Can she? She can speak English, can't she? In that way. Okay. So, uh, that was simple. And today, which is a very, very important thing for each and every one of us. We are going to study about uh, the concept of question tags using do family verbs. Do family verbs. Understand? Do family verbs when are what you are going to question tags, right? So, how we are doing? Using do family verbs. What are do family verbs? Do, does, did. Understand? Do family verbs are do, does, and did. When we use these forms of verbs in the sentence, when already there is an auxiliary in the sentence, it is very simple for us to form the question tag. But when there is no auxiliary, the center sentence bears only the main verb, then we have to go with do family verbs. Is is there in the sentence, was is there, isn't is there, can't is there, have not is there. If all these things are there in the sentence, these words, auxiliary words, easily you can form the question tags, both in negative or positive form. But when there is no auxiliary in the sentence, the sentence has only the main, uh, what to say, main verb. Then we have to use do family verbs, do, does or did, based on the type of sentence. If uh, when this do and does, we are using with v1 form. Understand? Do with v1, does with v1 plus s, do, right? We are not adding anything to it. S if writes, S is added to it. In that case, if nothing is there and with did we are using V2. Understand? Did we are using when the verb is in V2 form, simple past tense. When the verb is in simple present tense, we are using V1 form. When, uh, when the uh, verb is in simple present tense uh, uh, form, where there is no S used, we are using do or don't to form the question tag. When the uh, verb has S with it, writes, sings, goes, etc., then we are using does or doesn't with pronoun. To make the question tag. When the uh, verb is in past tense form, simple past tense form, like wrote, came, gave, etc., that time we are using 
did plus v1 form only here also do plus v1 does plus v1 understand without adding anything to it. simple uh, uh, present tense form without adding s come go write sing etc so when there is no auxiliary verb in the sentence that time we are supposed to use do family verbs they are do does did or don't doesn't and didn't with simple verbs simple present tense verbs understand for example now i will show you let it be that this is the uh, sketch for you how to use was first one we we give respect to elders we give respect to elders give is the v1 form we have got here in this sentence we are not having any auxiliary is a or etc directly we are having the v1 form directly v1 form we are having that's why what we do we are using do family when directly v1 form is there we use do plus v1 form understand same sentence we give respect to elders hmm don't we question mark i told you no we give respect positive sentence here we don't have any auxiliary main verb is used in v1 form so it indicates give means do is hidden in it do is hidden in it so we use don't i don't like sweets if it is there don't is already there negative form huh do i don't unte do opposite here nothing is there so you understand that you are supposed to use do family understand so when we are forming negative obviously we are using the do family verbs plus no then sita sings sweetly sita sings sweetly is a sentence we have got here here also we do not have any auxiliary sings is the main verb so sings how it is formed v1 plus s v1 plus s is there so when v1 plus s is there what we are going to do we are using does or does not sita sings sweetly comma doesn't she doesn't she okay doesn't she ravi works hard doesn't he ha huh? ravi does not work hard ravi does not right neatly ravi does not right neatly so does not is already there so it will be simple for you to do does he understand when the problem comes when there is no do does or did in the sentence so sings is there s is already there means it belongs to does group 
simply v1 is there without s means it belongs to do group now the s is there with the main verb in v1 form so it belongs to does group then you use doesn't she because um uh, sentence is in positive form so you are using negative position time here ravi does not write neatly it is a sentence does not shows negative form so does is already used one more simple thing you remember is when auxiliary is already used here same auxiliary you use not you are not using does he you can say not you are not using. when not is there in the question uh, not is there in the sentence you are not using in question tag when not is there not there in the sentence and main verb is there with s you are using negative form does not doesn't okay next one with v2 how to do he walked along the road he walked along the road walked is the verb used it is in v2 form simple past tense form when v2 is used we have to use did plus v1 i told so what you are going to add here walked is there so positive sentence didn't he and question mark understand he walked along the road comma walked is in v2 form when ed is there with the verb it belongs to did family did group when v1 without s it is do group when v1 with s it is does group when a simple past tense form it is did group so it is simple past tense so it is did group so what we are using didn't he now raju didn't do his homework already didn't is there in the sentence so simple when it is there so what question tag you are at same did you are taking here not you are not using did he understand in this way when sentence is in positive ed is there with the uh, verb then you are using didn't with related pronoun when didn't negative form is there then you don't need to worry the same auxiliary you are taking down with positive form didn't is negative form it's positive form you have to take and add the related pronoun to it and put question mark this way when there are no any auxiliary is used in the sentence that time you are going to use do does and did forms both in positive and negative forms do do, do not does doesn't did didn't etc as it shows Uh, the as it as shown with the examples in the sentences hmm? when no s no ed is used with the verb there is no ed no s with the verb sing come go here we are not using any ed or s that time you are using the do or don't don't when you are using when there is no s or no ed is joined to the verb added to the verb understand and when don't is there in the sentence easily you can form last you put do and related pronoun don't is there it's opposite for negative is already there in the question so positive you are using so when s is added to the verb you are using does understand when the sentence is in positive form 
you don't find it does or does not in the sentence only s is used with the verb writes sings goes looks etc in that case what you are going to do doesn't he doesn't she negative form and when there is negative form in the sentence itself definitely negative forms are formed by using the auxiliary is i told you so doesn't is already there in the sentence so you just pick up does and the related pronoun and make the question tag so simple it is when the sentence has simple past tense he broke my pencil break broke broke is past tense form so you are using did not he didn't he he did not break my pencil is there did not is already there in the question that's why you are using did from you pick up did from the sentence and add related pronoun to it and put question mark this way what you are going to do you are using do forms for making the question tags understand v1 form how to use question tags in v1 form case if the verb is there look it is v1 form you are using don't hmm. when verb is in uh, v1 v1 plus s looks then you are using doesn't just one example any verb you take sings comes goes whatever it is when v2 is there simple past tense looked you use didn't to form the question tag this is all about today's class i hope you understood how to use it i gave the example of only one word here any verb you take it goes with them in the same manner when s is not there don't you are using when s is there with the verb doesn't you are using when ed is there with the verb you are using didn't understand this is what you are going to do with question tags hope it is understood by you so simple and again we are going to get a worksheet about it thank you children